It is the evening of the day. I sit and watch the children play. Smiling faces I can see, but not for me. I sit and watch as tears go by. This is a ukulele tutorial for As Tears Go By, which was written by Mick Jagger, Keith Richards and the Rolling Stones manager, Andrew Luke Oldham. It was originally recorded by Marianne Faithful in 1964 and then later recorded by the Rolling Stones themselves in 1966. For the sake of this tutorial, we'll be looking at the song in the key of G major as per the Rolling Stones version. The Marianne Faithful version was recorded in the key of C. We'll be looking at the chord sequence and a simple finger picking pattern that can be played throughout. Before we get into breaking the song down, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out with making more of these video tutorials going forward. If you'd like a PDF of the song sheet with the lyrics and the chord shapes, either buy me a coffee, see how to do so in the link in the description below the video, and I'll email it over to you. Alternatively, you could join me at Patreon, where all my tutorials and accompanying PDFs can be found in one place. The link for this can also be found in the description below. The song is in 4-4, or common time, and most of the time, each chord is played for just one bar before moving to the next. If I'm strumming the chords, I tend to just use the generic Calypso or Island strum. So down, down, up, up, down, up for each bar. Let me just demonstrate this over the first four bars of the intro. In the Rolling Stones version, the intro is just these four bars instrumentally before the vocal starts, and in the Marianne Faithful version, this four bar sequence is played twice before the vocal starts. The chords we're playing here are a bar of G, and then a bar of A7, followed by a bar of C, and finally a bar of D to finish the sequence. I generally prefer to play this sequence around twice, but it's completely up to you. You could also play the D major here as a D7 chord, as it's the dominant chord in the key of G, and is also played as a D7 in all the verses of the song. As I said before, if I'm strumming the chords, I would probably just play the Calypso or Island Strum as just demonstrated, but if I wanted to finger pick over the chord changes, a pattern that seems to work quite well is this 8-beat sequence. So let me just explain the string sequence for this picking pattern whilst fretting a G major chord. Please note that the string names that I'm giving you here are the names of the open strings of our ukulele and not the notes within the chord. The same sequence is then repeated over each chord shape in turn. For this picking pattern, I'm only ever playing the three strings nearest the floor and I'm never actually playing the G string, the string nearest my face. So first we pick the C string, the third string from the floor with our thumb. And then we pick the A string, the string nearest the floor, with either our middle finger or index finger. Then we pick the E string, the second string from the floor, with our index finger. Then we repeat those last steps again, so C, A, E. So that gives us six beats of our eight beat pattern. And then for the last two beats we pick the C string with our thumb again. And then finally the A string with our middle or index finger to complete the sequence. So if I just play the pattern and call the string names as I play them, it would be C, A, E, C, A, E, C, A. One more time. C, A, E, C, A, E, C, A. And without me calling the string names. So now we just have to play that same string sequence over each chord of the intro and the verses. So the four bar intro picked and played around twice would sound something like this. One, two, three, four. So 
so now you have the option to either strum the chords or finger pick them. Maybe try recording yourself strumming the chords on your phone using the voice memo or recorder app and then playing the picking pattern along with the playback. Or even better, get a ukulele playing friend to play one part whilst you play the other. I think this song is really just having verses and not really having a chorus as such. So after the intro, we have four 16 bar verses, two with lyrics, and then one instrumental, and finally the last one with lyrics again, before going into the outro of the song, which is effectively the same as the intro again. I plan to do a tutorial for an instrumental chord melody arrangement of the solo at some point soon, and we'll link to it in the card above here once I've uploaded it. So the chord sequence for the verses starts like the intro, with firstly a bar of G, and then a bar of A7, then a bar of C, and then a bar of D7. So that's the first four bars. And then we repeat those same four bars again for bars five through to eight. So once again, a G, an A7, a bar of C, and finally a bar of D7. And then in bar nine, we have another bar of C. And then in bar 10, another D7. And then in bar 11, we have a bar of G that goes to a bar of E minor for bar 12. And then in bar 13, we have a bar of C major. And then in bar 14, we have a slightly harder split bar where we stay on the C chord from bar one for beats one and two, then play a B minor chord on beat three, and finally an A minor seven on beat four of the bar. Now this can be a little tricky, especially with the finger picking as we're changing chords mid-pattern, and we play half the pattern over the C chord, so the strings C, A, E, C, and then for the B minor chord, we just pick the A and the E strings, and then for the A minor chord, we just pick the C and the A string to finish the pattern before changing to the chord in the next bar. I generally find this much easier if I don't think about it too much and try to maintain the picking pattern sequence or strumming pattern throughout the chord changes. Then finally, in bars 15 and 16, we just have two more bars of D7, which set us up to go into the next verse. So let me demonstrate verse one here strummed and then verse two using the finger picking pattern so you can hear the different options. One, two, three, four. It is the evening of the day I sit and watch the children play Smiling faces I can see But not for me Verse two, finger picked. One, two, three, four. My riches can buy everything. I want to hear the children sing. All I hear is the sound of rain falling on the ground. As tears go by. So after the second verse, we have an instrumental verse with a solo, which you can obviously strum or finger pick through with the same chord sequence. I'll link to the tutorial for the chord melody solo here as soon as I've uploaded it. Then after the solo, we have one more verse, which is similar lyrically to the first verse. One, two, three, four. It is the evening of the day I sit and watch the children play Doing things I used to do They think are new I sit and watch the 
watch as tears go by. And finally, we have the same chord sequence to the intro, played as the outro of the song, with the vocal humming the melody. So. So that about wraps things up for this arrangement of As Tears Go By in G major. If you found this tutorial helpful or have any questions, please leave a comment, give the video a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. If you'd like a PDF of the song sheet with the lyrics and the chord shapes, buy me a coffee, see how to do so in the description of the video below, and I'll email one over to you. Alternatively, join me over at my Patreon page where all my tutorials and accompanying PDFs can be found in one place. The link for this can also be found in the description below. Thanks for watching and bye for now.